on Bounce. You can enjoy some delicious mac and cheese without all the extra calories. Great recipe uh, if you're looking for a healthy swap coming up for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Chef Julia Simon, the founder of Nourish, is here to show us how to make butternut squash mac and cheese. Don't yes. knock it till you try it, folks. It is delicious. Uh, welcome back. Thank show you. Show us how to prepare this for recipe. Sure. Um, so like a lot of uh, sauces, vegan creamy sauces, the blender is important for this one. And it's a fun recipe because you end up with something that's really delicious and very creamy and has that okay. velvety, has that lovely like yellowness that mm -hmm. kids love and kids are really comfortable with. Um, but it's full of vitamin A, vitamin C, okay. protein, lots of delicious yeah. vegetable vitamins. Um, it's just a really nutritious recipe that's also decadent and delicious. Okay. So okay. in the blender we have some sauteed onions and garlic. We have some butternut squash, some carrots, and some cauliflower. Okay. Along with... Um, Let's see, we have some nutritional yeast in there and mm -hmm. some roasted garlic. I'm going to add some soaked cashews and a little water. Okay. How long do you soak those cashews? Overnight. Overnight. Always overnight. If you're in a rush, I'm adding a little salt. If you're in a rush, um, you can simmer them a little bit to help break them down, but you want them nice and soft so that they'll okay. blend up really okay. nicely. So I'm just going to run this guy real quick. So looking for a really creamy uh, yes. consistency, like you said, Velveeta ish. Yeah, going for kind of Velveeta cheese, and I'm adding a little, little bit of olive oil because we like that kind of fatty backdrop. We want something okay. that's kind of satisfying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much uh, olive oil? Yeah. I've got a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. So quarter cup of mm -hmm. olive oil. Right. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and blended up, and then we have this lovely creamy kind of yellowy, orangey sauce. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and. Pour over our prepared, and we like brown rice noodles at Nourish. Okay, brown we rice noodles. We do not noodles. like the gluten, so we use either quinoa or brown rice pasta. Okay. And then I'm going to just give it a stir. And basically, you have this beautiful sauced pasta, and if you put it, you can, it, from this point on, it's basically mac and cheese. You just cover it with some delicious breadcrumbs. Okay. Um, and bake it for about 20 minutes until it's warm and bubbling. Okay. And, and what's the uh, temperature lovely. there? Uh, 350. Okay, is those the breadcrumbs? Yes, these are. Our, this is a little bit of our cashew parm. It's oh, delicious. Okay, okay. And I brought you guys a little example of what it looks like once baked as well. It has that really beautiful crust that happens with mac and cheese. It gets okay. nice and bubbly, um, and it's just really beautiful. It's got a lot of like chewy texture and a lot of kind of cheesy undertones, but. Secrets no. out. It's full of vegetables. Right. You know, no cheese. Food. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can uh, learn more about Nourish by logging on to nourishcharlotte.com. You can also follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and the gram, Instagram, that is. Um, about 30 seconds to go here. We'll have some for Lindsay. Or Delaney, hey, hey, hey. so she can have a taste. There we go. Um, Best of plates. <laughs> and you got to tell us what, what you think. And it's healthy, huh? It, it's healthy. Oh, it's healthy. Oh, I know. Don't say it All like right, it's so disappointing. Really it's a delicious dish. Please, In the nerd What do you world. think, Delaney? Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. Good. Yeah. You guys are digging it? Mm -hmm. You guys are digging it? All right. Thank you, Chef Julia, for being here. Thank you, folks at home, for watching WVTV News on Bounce. More news at 11. We'll see you tomorrow night. You're great.